Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and today's video is preparing for Gortober. Now, as you all know, I do this every year, where a couple of days before October starts, I'll get started on prepping for the upcoming month. Um, the way that I do this is by sketching out each and every single prompt that I have. Typically, I go by a pre-made prompt by someone else, but this year I had decided to make my own prompt list. So if you follow me on YouTube, uh, on Facebook and Instagram, you would have seen this list gone up as well as on Twitter. Um, I'll leave a link down below so you guys could check it out as well for yourself and see if you want to join me on this journey. But the biggest thing I wanted to talk about today is why prepping for Gortober or Inktober or Jalloween helps me. Like, why prepping it in advance helps me. Um, and there's quite a few things as to, or reasons as to why I do this. Um, because, yeah, so let's just get into it. Um, so the biggest reason that I do it in advance is that it gives me time to come up with ideas. I noticed over the years when I was doing it the day of, I was having a hard time jotting down ideas and getting the ideas down the way I wanted. And then... The piece didn't turn out the way that I was hoping for it to turn out. And with sketching in advance, it helps get the creative block away. Um, the day of, I typically get that block and then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it anymore. So the other thing is, even though an idea is picked, new ones can come day of. So even though I've already got an idea sketched out, so some of them only have one idea, so other have two. Even though I've already picked an idea for that one, when the day of, when I'm looking at the idea and then looking at the prompt for that day, something else might come up. And that's okay. And just looking at that idea might give me another idea that's even better than the original idea. Um... The other reason is that it helps me feel a little bit less overwhelmed, and I tend to get overwhelmed very easily, especially with doing one full drawing a day. Um, and it's not only that, is I work full time outside of doing this, and feeling less overwhelmed and having things set up in advance helps a lot. And it cuts a bit of time. Um, Doing it in advance also gives me ideas on what kind of materials I'll be using. So some years I'll be fully digital, some years it'll be traditional. Uh, sometimes it'll be a mix of both, depending on the piece. Um, for example, this year is going to be completely traditional. Um, and last but not least, it just makes my time so much easier uh, with doing a piece each and every single day. Um, sometimes I'll do two pieces in a day, depending on what I have that day if I'm off, and then the next day will be done and I'll be in a little bit in advance. It just helps me stay on top of things. Um, so yeah, that's why I do this sketching process so that I can help myself. So all the main sketches are done digitally, I'm going to be printing them out uh, so that I have them on hand with me, and then everything is going to be done traditionally. Mostly with inks is my idea. Uh, with some metallic colors here and there, but there are some of the themes in here that will require me to put some color in just so that it's a little more intense uh, or you could m tell more about the theme of the drawing. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys enjoy this explanation and I'll see you guys at the end. Ciao!
you are listening to a pre-recorded outro. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button, as well as the bell to be notified, and I'll see you all in the next video. Yumi-chan, over and out.